Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be checking out some stuff sent over by ASUS and it's from their ROG line of products. We have a really nice wireless TKL keyboard right here, their new Aimpoint carries gaming mouse which is wireless as well, and some really nice wireless headphones, the Cetra True Wireless. So together I think this is the ultimate wireless gaming bundle. So if you're interested, do stay tuned, I'll be checking out all of these products in this video. So let's first talk about the ROG Cetra True Wireless ANC gaming headphones and these are currently priced at 515 ringgit. And in the box, you get the headphones nicely packed in the case on top. And inside the box, you also get some paperwork and accessories. Like the user manual for the headphones, the warranty card, a Type-A to Type-C charging cable with the ROG branding on it, and extra sizes for the ear tips. So taking a look at the headphones and the case, the case looks really nice with this matte texture all around. And on the front, you have the ROG logo and right underneath that, you have a LED indicator light. And at the back of the case, you have the Type-C charging port. Overall, the case is pretty small in my opinion and I think it's really easy to bring around and it has a clamshell design so when you open it up, you can see the headphones inside and the RGB on the case. Honestly, this looks really nice in my opinion and I really love how the ROG logo lights up in the middle with flashing RGB. And honestly, I've been using these headphones for the past month and I really like the low latency mode on it. You can use it for gaming and watching videos or movies. There is literally no noticeable latency when you're playing games or watching movies from the audio coming from the device and from you hearing it in your ears. And speaking about using these headphones, each of them has 5 hours of playtime and the case provides up to 20 hours of playtime. So it's around 25 to 27 hours altogether. And as for the ANC mode, which is the active noise cancelling mode, it works really well to drain out some background noise. I use this when I'm actually walking or listening to music while doing work. And if you want to use these headphones for more stuff like exercising or getting it a little bit wet, don't worry, it has IPX4 so it's water resistant. These headphones do use touch control so they have already pre-built functions and actions into each side of the headphones. And if you want to further configure these headphones, you can actually download the Armory Crate app which is available in the Play Store and App Store. And you can adjust the equalizer in the settings to your liking. And the two most favourite things I like about these headphones are the low latency mode and of course the RGB on it. And this is the keyboard, the ROG Strix Scope TKL Wireless Deluxe Wireless Optical Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Yup, that was a mouthful. And it's currently priced at 719 ringgit. Overall, the unboxing experience was pretty nice. Everything was packed pretty nicely inside the box. And you do get a handful of accessories and paperwork as well. You get the user manual for the keyboard. The warranty card, of course, is always included. Some really nice looking reflective ROG stickers and a dongle adapter right here from type A to type C. And a braided USB cable right here, a USB type A to type C cable which you can use to charge up the keyboard with or use it wirelessly. And ROG also provides this really nice wrist pad right here and honestly it feels awesome and it attaches magnetically to the keyboard as well. So taking a look at the keyboard, you can see of course this is the front and it is a TKL layout means it's the tank keyless layout and you can see there's no numpad on the right side and the RGB at first glance looks really good and the top right here, this ROG logo is also RGB as well and it also works as the light indicator for the battery. And right above the arrow keys right here, you have the indicator lights for your keyboard and surprisingly the indication is also RGB as well. And this is the side profile of the keyboard. You can see the key right here and you can see it's kind of see-through through the switches. And if you don't like this height, you actually can increase it because there's adjustable feet right here. So you can increase the height of the keyboard if you don't like it very flat like this. And the whole top of the keyboard right here, you can see the ROG logo. It's actually made out of metal and it has a really cool touch to it. I believe it's aluminium and it feels really nice and it looks good as well. And on the top of the keyboard, we can see the separation right here from the aluminium top and the plastic body. It's because it has wireless functionality. So you have 2.4 gigahertz mode, Bluetooth mode and wired mode. And you can see the USB Type-C connector in the middle. And of course, tucked over here is the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And this is the back of the keyboard. You can see all this patterning at the back feels really nice. Of course, you have your non-slip rubber for the keyboard so it'll stay in place. Kind of like an ROG logo right here. And overall, it's a really nice looking keyboard. So one thing I really like about it is also the keycaps. The keycaps right here are made out of PBT and it is double short shine through PBT keycaps. They feel really nice in hand. They have this kind of smooth texture and of course the RGB shine through is really, really nice. And right underneath the keycaps are of course the switches and the switches in this keyboard are made by ROG themselves. It's the RX mechanical switches. And the version I have in my keyboard is the RX Red, which is the linear and swift optical mechanical switch. 
And yes, this keyboard does have per key RGB and N key rollover. And going back to the switches, it has a 45 gram actuation force and it bottoms out at 55 grams. And it has an actuation point of 1.5 mm to 4 mm at its max. So one really nice thing about these optical switches, there's literally no delay from your input to the computer. And it does have a hollow square stem design so it's more stable and you have these four points on the side for the keycaps to fit into. One upside having the switches designed like this, the RGB shine through is really nice so the light shine through on the top of the keycap and all four sides are the same and really visible. And if you take a closer look into the switch, you can actually see something called the X stabilizer. This basically makes the stem wobble free. And of course, there's no tilting from left to right like the traditional mechanical switches. And one more thing, these switches also have a 100 million key press lifespan. So it will basically last you for a lot of years. I do think these switches are very different from the traditional cherry design. But overall, they are really nice and I think that they work well for gaming. And if you're interested to read more about these RX switches, links will be down in the description below. Overall, I think it's a really nice TKL keyboard with wireless functionality and for those who are wondering about the battery life, ROG does claim it has 76 hours of playtime with 50% RGB and 137 hours with no RGB on. And of course, the RGB is configurable in the Armory Crate software and it also works with Aura Sync. So let's move on to the typing sound test to hear how this keyboard sounds like. So I got to say after the sound test, it sounds pretty good. These RX optical red switches do appear to be really smooth out of the box. So again, overall, it's a pretty good keyboard, but the price may be a little bit steep at around 700 ringgit. And moving on to the mouse, which is the ROG Curry's wireless endpoint wireless gaming mouse. For the pricing, there's actually no official pricing yet in Malaysia, but it did launch for $89.99 in the US, so I estimate this mouse to be around 400 ringgit. And from the unboxing, you can see it's actually packaged pretty weird. I think it's because ASUS and ROG are trying to go with a more user-friendly packaging as you can see inside. So on top, you first get your mouse which is in this cloth bag which protects it in the box. And underneath the mouse, you get in the box all of your accessories and paperwork. And that includes the warranty card, the user manual for the mouse, an extra set of 100% PTFE mouse feet, some really nice and reflective ROG stickers and this really nice ROG pattern mouse skin for better grip on the mouse. And also included is the ROG Paracord charging cable which is a type A to type C cable with an adapter at the end if you want to plug in the 2.4 GHz closer to your desk. And also included in this small little packet right here are two extra mouse switches which are from Omron so you can switch out the ones on the mouse if you don't like them. And taking a closer look at the mouse, mine does come with the moon white colorway and I think it looks really nice, simple and clean. So this mouse right here actually comes with the first ROG mouse sensor called the ROG Endpoint Optical Sensor, which can go up to 36,000 dpi with 650 IPS and 50 grams of acceleration when using. And of course, it has a 1000 Hz polling rate with the 2.4 GHz dongle and wired lead. And taking a look around the mouse, you can see this grass section is actually made out of PPT plastic on the left and right click. PPT is actually used right here because it's actually more durable than ABS and it doesn't shine easily after a long term of use. And on the left side of the mouse, you can see the overall profile of it and of course you have the two programmable buttons right here. And at the section where your wrist will actually sit, you can see the ROG logo right here which has RGB and you can configure the RGB in the Armory Crate software. And on the right side, it's actually pretty plain, but you have again an ROG logo right here. And from the front of the mouse, you can see the shape of it. It looks pretty nice and it's only uh, for right-handed use because it's not omnidextrous. And you can see the Type-C connection or charging port right here. And underneath the mouse, you can see the four 100% PTFE skates right here on each corner of the mouse. And of course, in the middle right here, you have the endpoint optical sensor, which was previously mentioned. And on the left, you have the DPI's toggle button and you have a pair button right here. And you have a toggle switch to toggle between 2.4 GHz mode, wide mode and Bluetooth mode underneath the mouse. 
and in the back of the mouse right here you can see the 2.4 gigahertz dongle tucks really nice in there so you won't lose it and it's easier to carry around overall i really like the shape and size of this mouse and you guys can see it's pretty solidly built actually but it only weighs 75 grams which is pretty light in my opinion for gaming and doing daily work so i have pretty big hands but using this mouse i would say it's a good fit i used the claw grip and using this mouse it was no problems with me but if you're a palm grip version again it'll work no problem it's just a smaller more compact mouse than the original rog gladius 3. And if you're wondering about battery life, ROG does claim that this have 100 hours of playtime with the lighting on. And one really nice feature this mouse has is also the push fit switch socket. Basically means that this mouse is hot swappable so you can swap out the switches if they break or you just like other switches on the market. And to switch out the switches is actually really easy. All you have to do is to remove the two screws on the bottom of the mouse which is covered by these silicone covers. After that, you can separate the mouse into two pieces which is the top and the bottom part by opening it from the back. The top part is basically like a shelf for the four buttons on your mouse. And the bottom part is where everything is housed in. You can see the battery right here and the two red switches on the top. And to pop out the switches, it's also really easy. You just have to slowly pull them out. And you can see it's three pin switches for this mouse. And to put the new ones in, you just take out the new ones and align the pins properly and push it down. So that's the ROG Curry's wireless endpoint. And from using it, I think it will last a really long time because it's actually really easy to repair and all the features included are really nice as well. And of course, if you want the ultimate wireless gaming experience, you can combine all of these three products together. So if you see anything you like in this video and you want to check them out, links of course will be in the description below. And I want to say a huge thank you to ASUS and ROG for sponsoring this video. And that does it for this video guys. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I feel more content like this coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye guys.